All right, drive-in oh. video, main event style. You can always tell by the guys who sit early, they're ready to go, but they haven't been here before. <laughs> Got coolered in a spot. We're gonna talk about that. That's gonna be the hand breakdown. Ready, we'll be moving the TV table right after this. Oh my God, what a swarm of people. Watch how I do this, okay? I'm gonna watch this move. Doom, 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 doom. Do oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> sorry, I, I hit him, I hit him. Hey, I work hard every motherfucking day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard, I work hard. All right, it's 10.30 a.m. We kind of got a motor because it starts at noon. Slept great, but you know, woke up at 10, like actually out of a dream. I had the alarm go off, which was interesting. So apparently I guess I needed some more sleep, but I felt good. Um, why are we in a motor? Why have we got a motor? It's only 10.30, but I want to make sure I get the sun in. Feel really rested for today. But at the same time, I got a film crew coming. Oh shit, I forgot the phone. Um, to answer the door. <laughs> anyway, we're out here in the backyard, but um, yeah, they're coming at a, at a, they're coming to film me leave at 11. So it's 10.30, get 10 minutes of sun and uh, have breakfast, already showered, ready. Where did I leave that phone? Okay. Gotta let them through the gate. So you can't just come waltzing up to my door, you know? No way. Gotta have some security with some of them wackos we dealt with last year, you know what I mean? All right, so 10 minutes out here. Get the day started. All right, we're on a rush, we're on a cramp, but I made myself the special brekkie right here, okay. And we got the film guys, they're here already. Okay, what's going on? He's got tape, he's got cameras, he's got all the things. He's gonna drive, he's gonna do this, he's gonna do that. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna head out. All right, drive-in video, main event style. That's what we're doing right now. I got a guy over here with a camera right in my face. He's watching us watch you. It's Inception type shit right here. Okay, so main event. What do we do differently? What do we think about? First and foremost, it depends. It depends on the table draw we get. It's kind of crucial, right? You want a table, generally what I like is a table of very passive players who are all just trying to make day two. That way it allows me to just throw lots of little jabs, lots of little jabs like Rocky. Well, I don't know, he's more of a body puncher, but you get what I'm saying. So yeah, just basically like uh, low risk, you know? Uh, and, and that's what you have. If you have so much more aggressive, like three betters and over betters and things like that, you know, it's just a little more difficult to play against in some ways on day one. So that's what we want. Um, and again, we're going to play essentially almost a pure small ballish type format on day one, depending, right? That's like option A. Option B is going to be, you know, go to war. Option C, depending if the table's really, really tight, just be like, all right, y'all, you do your thing. We'll just get through day two, tranquilo, relaxed, chill and uh, I move on. So yeah, we got the film crew here till I don't know when, but I got a mic on over here. They're fly on the walls though. They're not bothering me. They're good boys so far. We'll see though, it's early, you know what I mean? You never know. <laughs> All right, we are in the break room. We made our coffee. These guys followed me to see the, something they could have got on YouTube because I do it every day, but they're filming because they're doing a documentary type deal. But I think it'll be really good for poker. I think all this kind of stuff is good. You know, mainstream exposure, um, getting people sort of behind the scenes looks. At what You know, that's kind of what we do here with the vlog. You're getting a behind the scenes look the whole way. Um, and the main event is one that uh, gets a lot of eyeballs. So we are ready to perform. We got to grind ahead. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to grind hard. Just as quick as you Okay, so as you guys know, I'm a man of the people, where I have a chair of the people. They switched all the new, all the chairs with the new gray ones. But I was able to go into the back there and I found me a chair of the people. And you see it sitting there by itself. We're gonna put it where it belongs. We're not gonna tell anybody yet, but we're sitting over at 512. We're at 512 seats up. Just getting a look, we got it. We got a guy in the one seat, looks Euro. Two seat is a young lady. Old, white, rich dude. No? Yeah, I think it looks good so far. You can always tell by the guys who sit early. They're ready to go. They haven't been here before. 
All right, here as we go. This is the lucky gentleman on our left. Pound it. I'm Nick. Nick? Nice to meet you. We got Nick. We got... Huh? Where are you from, Boris? Bulgaria. That's next door to where I'm from. We got Fairdale. She's from Kentucky, right? Indiana. What's your name? Shelby. Shelby, and we got Free Sky. Your name is uh, Alexandru or what? George, oh, George, George the Greek, of course. And you, you look like you came out of Wolf of Wall Street or something, right? Something like that. He's like the guy, you know? All right, good luck, everybody. Let's have some fun. Hey, I work hard every mother day. All right, we got 30 minutes level. We're talking a little rocky with my man over here. We got some hand breakdowns. First one's gonna be against this lady Shelby, correct? Yes. Shelby, we played a hand against Shelby, and then we played against Boris. Okay, and this one's a fun one. It's a very interesting hand. He was so excited he got in the vlog, so that's why he showed it. I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but we're gonna tell you uh, on the break here. A couple, couple interesting hands. Yours, you're gonna be happy to hear okay. what I had. You're gonna be very, very happy. You know, maybe for the I'm vlog, to maybe for the vlog, you could tell us what you had and I'll tell you. Um, I had a jack. I had all the jacks. <laughs> <laughs> All the remaining jacks I had. Okay. But it was a very interesting hand, both of them. We'll talk about it on our first hand breakdown on the break. All right, 50,200, end of level one. We're going to try and do a walk and talk and a hand breakdowns. Uh, not the table, it's not a great table. I mean, there's three young guys that can tell they can play. You know, so we're playing pretty solid. We're not doing anything crazy exploit-wise. Very first hand of the tournament, I got ace, ten of diamonds, raise, and take it. Um, and then I had kings, I three-bet a guy. And then two hands in a row, I had two tens, then two eights with club, with a club in my hand. Came queen, five, deuce of clubs, then jack, six, deuce of clubs. Uh, and I, I, I lost both to uh, a better pair. But uh, all right, so we got two hands to break down. You know what? Holy lines, these kids are crazy. I'm not waiting on this. Um, let's do it. Let's, we're, we're, we'll be able to do it. We'll do the hand breakdowns because there's two of them in the steam room. I got myself a pastrami, no butcher. How you doing? And uh, we'll be back. I think it's a 20 minute break, so this should give us plenty of time, even though we're over at the horseshoe. Okay, let's plow through these two hands because I want to get to my sandwich. Probably gonna have to walk and eat, but we're good to go. Okay, so one in 200 of the blinds in level one. I raise the middle position with jacks to 500. The big blind Shelby, which we found out her name now. She defends. Now the flop is jack of diamonds, seven of diamonds, deuce of clubs. We have top set. We like the situation. I go ahead and bet 500, and I'm excited that she calls. Turn is the seven of hearts. This is a fantastic card for us. It's unlikely she has a jack because we have all of them. So a seven is very reasonable for her to have, something like seven, eight, hopefully pocket deuces, whatever. She may have a draw, like a gut shot or a flush draw. And if she does, we definitely want to give her a chance to hit it. So we don't want to overbet it. I go ahead and bet 1500. River is the eight of diamonds. This has to smash her. You know, if she had the 9-10 gut shot somehow, she's made to straight. If she had diamonds, she made a flush. If she had 7-8, she's made a full house. If she has pocket deuce, she has a full house. So against this range, which is going to be perceived very strong that she has, and we have like a really, a really strong end, I want to go big in this spot. It's unlikely, because if she, if I think she just has a jack, well, we'll probably go smaller to get the call. But because we have all the jacks, we can sort of limit that possibility. So I go for big, I go for 8,500. Now, what's interesting about this, though, I lose to pocket sevens and 9-10 of, di of diamonds. Right? And in the main event, if she check raises, ooh, I'm not loving it. I would call, but I, you know, I would realize that I have, you know, the third nets. It's different, third nets, third nuts. All right, this next hand, uh, same lines, obviously, under the gun limps. The Bulgarian, Boris, makes it 800. Shelby calls. I defend the big blind with the ace of hearts, queen of spades. It's not really a spot I want to re-raise with and squeeze, so we just go ahead and call. Now the flop's good for us. It's queen of clubs, four of clubs, five of hearts. I check, check. Now the uh, Boris bets 1,200. I decided to check raise here rather than like check call and then have go check, check on turn and river. Try to get some value. Also, this flop, I, there's a lot I can have here. I can have two pair. I can have sets. He doesn't really have much. He's not raising probably with fours or fives. He might want to limp behind with those hands. I mean, who knows, right? So I decided to make it 3,600 and he calls. Now... The turn card is the three of hearts. I have the ace of hearts, so it's unlikely he peeled with like, you know, an ace high flush draw. But we can't because I had the ace of hearts. Um, we're still slightly worried that he has kings or aces because that's a possibility. Decent chance he has the best, the same hand or king, queen, or queen, jack, maybe suited. Um, so I go ahead and bet 4,200 on that card. Again, the three is a good card for my range. I can have six, seven. I can have 
Ace Deuce, hands that he doesn't have as much of. River is the king of clubs, the worst card in the possible deck. Like, there isn't a worse card. I'm not calling any bets here. There's just no way. I check. He bets 14-5. I don't even think about it. I insta muck because there's no point. There's really, there's really only one bluff here that he could possibly have that makes any sense, and that would be 6-8 of hearts. Literally everything else got there. So there's only one bluff that makes any sense at all. Because I have the ace of hearts, he can't have missed backdoor hearts. He doesn't have jack-10 hearts, probably. It was just folds in the flop. So there's no bluff except 6-8 of hearts. So he wanted to be in the vlog, and Boris is in the vlog because he had the one bluff. He had the 6-8 of hearts. But we're not upset about that one. That's just a great hand. He played it well. Good hats off to him. You know, no, you know I'm not I, I'm not calling when the king of clubs comes for that price. Now, could have played the hand a little more slowly, but I'm fine with it. You know, we're deep enough. So again, we're playing pretty normal poker. We're not doing anything outlandish like you would normally do in a main event against a lot of weak players. Speaking of outlandish, ha ha, look at that. Ooh, oh, falling up. There you go. She got her. She forgot to pay the out. All right, here we go through the lines of people swarming in. Just like the old days, right? Like nothing different, nothing's changed. It's amazing. It's a big fan of yours, man. It's unbelievable. Big We're like cattle yours. in here, right? Back in the day, there was plenty of room to walk with 150, 200 players. When you when you came second, how many were there? 168 of the best. Now we got this. Oh my goodness. It's just madness, people. Madness. Main event madness. Can we take a picture? Yeah, you just shook the whole camera. You went like that. Yeah. Blame him. Yeah. I'm here for $15. From oh, congratulations. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I spilled coffee on your arm, but that was on purpose. Good luck, though. Yes, it's, it's a thing. It's insane. <laughs> All right, so we're getting a massage. The guy here, I, was, I should have had him when he was here. He was just explaining that one of his clients said, if you get on TV in the World Series poker, you got to wear this shirt for me. But he's not here. He's at a hotel. So we got to get an Uber. So he left 20 minutes before the end of the level because we are getting moved to the TV table because they randomly selected this one, probably because of this guy. That's my guess. Um, so we're going to go to the TV table next, and he's going to do his best to get back in time. Just burn in 20 minutes because you got to wear a T-shirt. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Right, uh, rotation? Right. Crystal. What do you prefer? I mean... It's close. You know, that's fine. <laughs> She's whatever, no, man. man. Let's go with Crystal. I don't know. You can it's call good. me rotation if you want. I'll Crystal's a good name. It's a good name. I got it from my mama. Yeah. It works. Okay, we got 30,400 end of level two. Got mm -hmm. coolered in a spot. We're gonna talk about that. That's gonna be the hand breakdown. Um, as far as table, uh, like, you know, like I said, it's not a great table because, but, but, so here's what I do. Anyway, each table you look at, you think, okay, should I be bluffing more than I normally do or less than I normally do? This one's one where it's pretty clear it should be on the more side because people are making, you know, pretty good laydowns or they will be making laydowns and stuff like that. But we're gonna talk about the hand that got us down to 30. We'll be moving the TV table right after this. Oh my God, what a swarm of people. Watch how I do this, okay? I'm gonna watch this move. Doom, 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 doom. doom. Oops, sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I hit, I hit him. I was trying to do the vlog thing. What? Don't, don't. You go sideways. You make yourself skinny. You go like this. You go like this. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't. I'm showing the moves, how I get through. You know what I mean? You gotta dance. You gotta dance like a running back. You find an aisle. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Up the side. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what's going on, okay. We gonna, oh, look at this. We got a free reign right here, wow. We just made up so much time on the crowd right there. Now we zig, we zag, we go right. We zig through here, boom, boom, left, right, back, forth. Huh. That's how we do it at the World Series of Poker. I'm out of breath, we did so good. We did so good, I was showing them how we zig and we zag. You remember this one? Huh? Let's go. She's taking me to India. Yeah, you have Me and Amanda, to we're gonna go we have to, to India and have a nice vacation. Thanks to. Let's go, right, I gotta. I'm out of breath now from running. Let's go. Let's see ya. <laughs> All right, it's the World Series of Poker main event. I imagine we're gonna have lots and lots of hand breakdowns throughout. Probably at least one a level. We'll see. You never know. We are two hour levels. Okay, this one. The blinds are two and 300. 200, 300 with a 300 big blind Annie. I raise under the gun with the King Jack of Spades. Shelby, she three bets us to 2,500. So obviously I just call. There's nothing else really you do there. Flop is five, five, nine, two spades, one diamond. <clears throat> pretty good flop, but I'm still concerned about her range. It's gonna be pretty strong, three betting and under the gun. I haven't got it, but I got a king on flush draw, so we good. <clears throat> I check, she bets 1,800. 
we call. Turns the queen of spades. Now I make the flush. I have a straight flush draw. Ten of spades is a gin card. We make it. Um, she has these, you know what I mean? So whatever. Now I decide, I feel like she's going to check back this turn way too much, right? Like she has red aces, red kings. She might just check and be worried about flushes. So I'm trying to get value. I'm going to get three streets. So I go for 4,200. I lead out at it. She calls. River is the king of clubs. So I block king, king, which is a concern, right? Like she got aces or kings here. But I block king, king. So I'm not too worried about a full house with that card. Obviously, she could have the queens, you know, which has a stead. Um, I go ahead and bet 7,500, looking for the call. As soon as I make the bet, she does something that makes it obvious I'm dead. Okay? I'm just very dead. I know it. Uh, and she raises to 20,000. So, <clears throat> can't be calling here with a king high flush. She has queens for sure, all day, twice on Sunday. And uh, I fold the hand. She said, she confirmed she had queens. She's like, you know what I had, because I said queens. It's obvious it was queens. <clears throat> but... Still good, you know, 30,000. I mean, obviously it sucks to lose half your stack early on. Just hasn't gotten go gotten it going yet. But, uh, you know, overall, feel-wise, I understand what I need to be doing here. You're going to have guys here that are readily available, readily folding top pair hands. They've done that a few times, I've noticed. So uh, against players like that, which it's not even wrong. It's just the fact that they're doing that opens me up to uh, run some bluffs. And that is, well, I mean, we have to be careful too at the same time. I have been doing some limping and splimping. A little bit shorter on chips now you know that's that's definitely gonna be a thing we have one player boris at our table who is attacking all our limbs which is fine because we know how to play against people who attack our limbs <laughs> we'll stick it to them before the night is over yes, all right here we are the f he got famous people at the crab table were saying i know you you're the second guy who mike d digs he's a big deal and look at this he made it look yes he came back what just is this shirt Sintro. uh stnr uh, okay. okay. so he yeah, left yeah. true story he left 20 minutes for the break because he promised his buddy that he would wear his t-shirt if he made it on tv but how are you going to be on TV? I didn't it's impossible. Think there was any intention I was going to be on it, so I raced back. And then you and saw me, you should have made a phone call. I should have. I raced back. You know, to the they Aria, often, I got the shirt. So they was, often randomly choose yeah, my table. Yeah, so, Nick, when you see TV. this, there you go. Okay, what do you want from me? What do you want, Brady? What do you want? Did I miss anything <laughs> fun? Got mics. We got hey, happy stuff. Canada Day, by the way. Happy Canada. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. I'll turn hey. this off. All right. We go into dinner break with 3 3. Not a lot. You know, not a lot of good happening at level. Uh, I did win one. I did win one pot where I had to make a call, which you'll see. If you watched it on Poker Go, we were on the stream. Well, we'll do a full hand breakdown, but. Yeah, well, you can, you know, I think you can, How do you think you can shoot down? That's really... right. Is it two, four? Mm-hmm. All right, Daniel's hand here. Go. Limping is pimping. You know, it's hot out here for a pimp. For a limp. When he's trying to limp under the gun. It's uh, probably an offensive. Uh, limp? Oh, pimp is probably an offensive. Yeah. 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 Probably. Negrano on the short stack, Limpin' Jacks under the gun. Raised to 1600. Getting the action he wants. Regular ISO and uh, Ace-9 off. Is that money? I can't see. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, on the button. That's see it? See if Daniel <laughs> no calls offense, or, uh, you know. or, or he raises it. <laughs> so 16? It's very... Yeah, Daniel taking an interesting line here with the under the gun Jacks limp. I kind of kind of say I like it. It's getting, getting the action he's craving. I'm supposed to smile. Yeah, Macho Regular from France. 32 years old, software engineer. It's weird, usually they're going for pictures of him. I was like, take pictures of She likes you. It's a shirt. It's in the mic. Why exactly this shirt? Uh, Negrano is going to make a call. Keep the pot small. Products, so small ball, of course. Of name of the game for Negrano. He gave me the shirt. I was like, just promise me if you get on the TV table, you'll wear <laughs> the shirt. 10 5 deuce like, rainbow oh, on this yeah, flop. Sure. Really, really like, nice for Negrano. Like, no worries. <laughs> it's all I did. So I race later. back to the hotel and yeah, get the shirt. <laughs> That's really so nice. He better okay. see us. Yeah, if he doesn't see us, I'm going to be furious. He missed 20 minutes of the last No, no, I would rather lose money than promise someone something not doing it. Like she I said, I was going to do it. Take a picture of your shirt. Daniel's going to bet out. I should, yeah, I'll get a video and be like, look, man, I raced back there. I got your shirt. We'll vouch for you. Rigolo, perhaps, thinking I can represent this king. Negrano, at this point, seemingly trying to go for. Trying to keep this pot as small as possible, get into the river. Both keeping the bluffs in his range and then also losing the minimum if he does happen to be up against the king. And Daniel knows this. People always try to rep kings more than any other card. I mean, it's a thing. People always bluff kings. I mean, that's it's like it's like a no thing. So he checked calls here and correct. 9,400 is spot. We're going to see a river card here. Negron has to fade an ace. River is the six of diamonds. Check. Probably going to see it in the ground check again, and he does. 
Rico Lowe here left with ace high. It'd be real interesting if he fires about 6K or 6,500 here. Back to where Diamond's getting there. And the king on the board. He could put Daniel in a bad spot here if he fires pretty big. Because he's going to limp under the gun, perhaps Rico Lowe putting him on a small pair. That is 6,000. 6,000, he goes that. Grano has a decision to make here. This is, this is this isn't an easy one either, though, because I mean the backdoor diamonds getting there. He, re he raised pre-flop. He repped the king. Daniel was thinking the jack's call in the turn would hopefully slow him down. And they go check check. And you know Rigolo, the black ace not off suit. <laughs> he's got one way to win the spot, so he's fine. Yep. Given the way Negrano has played this hand, and underrepresented the strength of his holding, probably has to make the call. The only thing, though, is Daniel's chip stacks a little lower here. And so, you know, if he has 60 or 70K, he's calling on nine. But Daniel only has 29,000 before his hand. The yeah. 6K call on the river. Ace queen with a diamond? Is that, is that what I mean? Ace queen with a diamond? Okay, that's what I mean. Do you value that worse ever? Crossing some hands off the list here. I don't see a way out. How do I get away from this? How do I get away? How do I get away? Let's see. What's the escape route? <laughs> I guess you could have Ace Jack with a Jack of Diamonds, too. It's also possible. Ace Queen or Ace Jack with the Diamond. Versus. What the hell? For value. Did you just have it? Nah. Oh, good job, Daniel. We're at race. Jacks. Crucial pot there for Negranu. Makes the call with Jacks. Chips up to 40K. Huh? This is exactly the kind of start he wanted on this feature table. I've been watching for a while. I've got live like that. Daniel taking a very thinking, unconventional right? line like, right, with two jacks there and sense. getting the total max My value under by doing it. And, and you know, that whole hand, if he'd open free you, bro. I would have just moved in on you. Oh, you must have nothing. You did come looping then. A couple times I did have nothing. I limped with jacks, button raises with ace nine off. Well, I shouldn't have told you. Whatever I told you. And I call, comes 10 5 dues, check, check. Turn King of Diamonds back to Diamonds. I check call 2600. River is a six of diamonds. I check. I go through the whole spiel. You could have this, your ace queen, your ace jack with the diamond, blah, blah, blah. Just felt like you didn't have it. I called the 6000 and won that pot with the jacks, but just kind of been running into it a little bit. Like, I feel like I'm just running into his hands and not making many yet, but you know, it's just that's the grind. World Series of Poker. I don't mean, I don't quit. I'm just got to run good. You know, like day one's not as important, but obviously we got to get through it. Um, hopefully we start making some hands after dinner break. We're going to chill, relax, feel very calm, relaxed, no sweat, no stress. All right, we're on dinner break, 25-3, as I said, making a little, what is this? This is a, what do we got here? We got this thing. I got to say, on the way back, obviously the, the hallway was crowded with people. People were, this break specifically, driving me nuts, like just no, I mean, just because everyone had a business idea. Like, four in a row, they're trying to pitch me. And I'm like, I'm not now, man. Damn, bro. Like, give a give a dude a break. You know, I just, just no. See my guy, Brian, at Poker Royalty. If you need something from me, go to PokerRoyalty.com. Don't, I'm not going to listen. Go, I got this new deck of cards. No, no, no. Just ask him, bro. I can't. I can't. I've, you know, we're past that point where I got the patience to listen. Uh, I got... I need I need breaks, man. Give me give, give a man a break. That's all I'm saying. All right, actually, new plan as we finish this up. This is planned right now. Did you get, are you playing with old cards? So no, we're actually, going back I've, to this uh, table. I might as well see what I can pick up. Doing anything, lots of commentary, which has been amazing. On Free on uh, made YouTube. lots of friends and enemies with our chatters Seems on like both on YouTube. So I'm going to be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor, click the subscribe button down below. Thank you. All right, we are done with the TV table. I got, what I got, 30,700 here. Gonna go back to our original table for the last two hours of the night. Hit the room, try to hit the head. 
took some pictures, did a little of this. I didn't really, nothing really to report other than, hey, we won. We had a winning level, so better than losing. We'll uh, keep on trucking. I mean, I feel good. I feel like we're in it. So just keep on trucking. Hope that uh, we hit just a little bit of rush. It'd be nice just now to finish with starting stack. I'd take it right now if you gave it to me. All right, we're in the last level. The table broke. We were way, way over there. And I brought the chair of the people up from over there to over here so we can have something to sit on. Those things, no, nah, man. This chair of the people. I know I've said it before, but it's the real deal. Okay, we got about an hour left in the evening. Pretty frustrated, honestly. Just not getting anything going, not hanging, any, winning any hands. Just picked up Ace King, three better guy, King 10 10 Deuce. Didn't win that one, he had a pair. I didn't, I didn't bluff at it. It's like, there's no way. Under the gun, under the gun plus one. Um, other than that, we're just sort of dribbling away. I mean, it's not, not catching nothing, <laughs> not hitting no flops. We've got 15 8, I want to say, which still gives us, you know, we're used to playing tournaments with 10 bigs, 8 bigs, 25. But the problem with it is, is, you know, in the main event, I want to be able to play a lot of pots. You know, I want to play 6 8 suited, 5 8 suited, and all that stuff. I can't do it now. Now I just got to play kind of ABC, 20 big blind poker. But we're going to do our best. It's just been a little frustrating, not going to lie. What was that flop? I would have missed. Okay, <laughs> of course. Okay, you remember how I just said I can't be playing suited connectors and stuff? Guy raises the 1500, guy calls, another guy calls. I'm in the cutoff with 7 8 9 I'm like, oh, come on, buddy. I gotta see one, I gotta see one for 15. I call. Now it comes 7 5 3, two clubs and a spade. Big line leads out for 4500. They all fold to me. One of the guys call in between, I might fold. I've got, I can call the 4,500, I got 93 back. So the question is, do I put it in now? Do I call, do whatever? I decided to call and hang on to that 9,300 and see if a bad card comes. Also, potentially, maybe bluff them off a better seven, depending what happens, you know? Just like no reason to put it in yet. I do call, turns the jack of diamonds, he checks. I get the read that he's not, he doesn't have sevens beat, put in the 9,300, tank for a while, and he folded, and I'm thankful for it, but, uh, yeah, what a grind today's been. You know, are you filming me? Look at this guy, he's filming me over here. What the hell, I'm in the corner. What if I was saying nasty things? I would say it to all the people, so you're fine. All right, we got what, 42 minutes left? Let's finish strong. All right, they called last three hands. We're on hand number two. Me and my buddy here over here. Saying to so, You've been here all day for this thing? All day. How did you make it? Uh, so, just came here to chill. I know, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking this, we might be last in this whole room to bag up. That We're still on hand two. Everybody's leaving. Yeah, right. Oh, well, right. At least we, we don't have to play tomorrow. Yeah, come back Friday, right? Yeah, we gotta speed right. up. I'm sorry you didn't slap nobody. Not yeah. once? All day? No, no. You got good discipline. Yes. Okay, what? Yes, I do. Good job. All right, one more hand we got. So, I'll do it. One, we got one more video to do, but one more hand. Uh, who knows when? I don't know. We'll sit here. <laughs> and we'll wait. You know, we'll you wait. Go. All right, I was able on the very last hand of the night to do something I was barely able to do all day, and that was raise and take it. So we ended the day with 25,900. 25, you know, I'm pretty happy to have it. Uh, I was down to 15, 16. It was a, a grind, a shitty day overall. Like, I think I played pretty well, got away from some traps. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I made any mistakes. Not, nothing really. I mean, obviously, there was a couple spots. I could have, you know, maybe bluffed, but, um, you know, yeah, we're good with it. So tomorrow, we're, we're going to wait. Bags on, baby, baby. Bags on, 401, 401 blue, we got bags. Nobody even close. Look, we're like all these tables, they're home in bed already. These guys are drinking at the bar. These guys are asleep. We're going to be sitting here with our beefy sausages in our hand, you know what I mean? Doing nothing. Okay, so we're just gonna hang out and wait. It's gonna be a while, and then driving out's gonna be a problem. But tomorrow's a day off. I got an interview. Not a day off. We're gonna play the Turbo online tournament on our day off, and then we got day two restart at noon somewhere. Hopefully, we have a faster table. I will bring my. I will bring extra selfie sticks, foam ones, hard ones, and I'm gonna throw them right at the people to take to them. I'm right in the head. While they're in the middle of a pot, just go boom. Throw them right at his head. Huh? I think it's fair. All right. Peace, y'all. Good night. Day one, main event. We out. Not out, but we out. Peace.